So the very first example we were going to do is we were going to use some of the math functions on this, on these variables. I have an x1 equals to 7.5, x2 also equals to 7.5, and x3 also equals to 7.5. The reason I have set these to the same value because I want to teach you the difference between math.round, math.seal, and math.floor. Document.write, break row. First thing I'm going to do is round. Math is the name of the class. Round is the name of the function. And x1 is the value that we are giving to the round so that we can round this value. Since the decimal piece is 5 or up, it should always be round up. <clears throat> However, for floor, if I give it the value, it will always round down. Doesn't matter what is the case. Seal always rounds up, doesn't matter what is the decimal point. Ceiling, that rounding rounded up, flooring floored it down, ceiling sealed it up. Very similarly, I can use math.random Math.random actually generates a random number between 0 and 1. It's a long decimal random number. Just to show you, I'm just using it in its raw form. So every time you run it, it will going to generate a random number between 0 and 1. Okay. Now, if you want this number to be between a range of, let's say, 0 through 10, then you multiply this by 10, so you're going to shift those many decimal places over. If you do multiply it by 100, then you're going to shift those many decimal places over. So 10 will shift it by one decimal, per decimal that way. So let's do it in two steps. This will be step one, where I simply multiply a number by a higher number to generate a higher range. And another approach I can do is, uh, let me number these so that you can see this is number one, number two, and number three. And now in the last version, after I multiply it by a multiplier, I would now like to round my final answer. So this, uh, this basically shows you how you can nest these functions. So math.random times 100 will generate a number, and that number will be given to math.round to round it. I should be able to see 